Hello everybody, this is Jesus and Me Forever coming to you live from our yard. I just want to show everybody what a blessing we received last weekend. I know I don't have a super large audience, but this over here was piled almost a foot high with all kinds of junk in it. And I'm sorry, as you can see, my son is leaf blowing. So I will be competing with him today. And there's my daughter playing with our puppy dog. We um, got a notice last week that we needed to get our yard cleaned up because my son, my eldest son, had pulled out a whole bunch of carpet and just sat it down in the yard. In the front yard, no less. So um, we got a comment by the city that either get it picked up or you will be fine. So we started a massive cleanup and sorry I'm also picking pecans while we're discussing this is what I get to work with trying to find them and there's one right there as you can see our yard is now winterized I guess you could say um, it is cold enough to be winter now um, which makes it keeps us very busy because I um, one of the reasons I have not done a lot of videos is because I'm now in a para position where um, it takes a lot of my mind and energy just to do what I do. And so I haven't been doing a lot of these because of it. Because by the time I get home, I just want to do something stupid. I don't want to think about doing a video <laughs> or anything I just I, I just want to crash and go to bed because I'm just so exhausted mentally by the time I get done and so I just I haven't been doing any videos so my apologies for those of y'all that were kind of following me regularly I appreciate it I really do um, it's just right now at this point in our life there's so many things going on that it's really difficult for me to just sit down and say, okay, I'm gonna do this for a day, you know, or I'm gonna do this for even 10 minutes. Um, a lot of times I just come home and go to sleep. Plus I've had like, this is like my third illness because my throat's already, my throat's starting to get scratchy. Yes, I'm out in the cold. I know I shouldn't be, but I just, I hate coming to you from my house all the time and just inside in one setting. I like to, I like to be outdoors, doing stuff, seeing nature. We've had some foxes over here. We've had um, other critters. Right now we have a mouse in our house, which is not what I wanted. And yes, I've heard of the book, A Mouse in the House. So our dog really enjoys playing, if you can't tell. Jack Russell, mixture. She's a palm and Jack. But it's like there's a lot of things that have changed over our lives. Um, Anthony was, or not Anthony, Jonathan was exhibiting some of the same signs as before. Um, and he showed up some new things. He, he was, he had some kind of a rash on his arm. It looked like goosebumps, but they never went away. So, um, we've been doing a lot of trial and error, and he seems to have more difficulty when he eats lactose. So, we're thinking lactose intolerant. So, we have, um, yeah, my silly girl. So, we're, we're doing lactose-free diet for him, and trying to be careful with gluten as well. And he's, he's having so much fun over there. I just got to show this. Oh, he's going behind the, behind our um, trailer. He's so proud of himself. He got his, that, that particular weed eater, ha, weed eater has not been working. Terry hasn't been able to get it to work. And so Jonathan went over and Worked with it a little earlier tonight and got it to go a little bit. 
and he sat there with it and worked with it and worked with it. And then he came back and he tried it again. It did just a little bit. So I said, go talk to your daddy about it. So he went inside, talked to daddy. Well, daddy comes up and says, well, um, I haven't been able to get that to work yet. You got it to work? And Jonathan's like, yeah. And he ran back out here and he started working on it. And he has it running now. So we have a very proud young man on our hands who is having a lot of fun blowing everything around instead of working. Wrong direction! So at least he's sharing with his sister. That's good. So they are having fun. As you can see, he's blowing or walking around right now, but like I said, he's having fun. That's that's what's important right now. And if I knew how to speed this up, I would. Um, I think I have to turn it off and restart it, so. But, yeah. They are having fun. And I'm still searching for pecans. So I may just make another video on that and put it up so that dumb people who like me, because when I first moved here, um, I, yeah, I knew nuts came in a shell, don't get me wrong, but I never had a pecan tree before. And so I had never messed with them never dealt with them and it was a whole new experience getting to do that so and yes i know he's getting stuff all over the laundry i'm just dealing with it it's their clothes it's not mine <laughs> he won't care he won't care because it's his clothes he's like i'm having fun so as you can tell he's having a lot of fun but back to him um he's doing a lot better since we've done lactose free and there's times where we've gone off of you know i try to keep a steady variety of meat rather than just hamburger 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 like my husband and i always did because that's what my husband liked i'm trying to do both so, and that's, I think that has helped him out too. It's not just having one particular meat, having a variety going back and forth between chicken and tuna and a hamburger and roast. Puppy. Yeah, she'll be fine. Let her go. Oh, you goose. <laughs> She's begging to be back up in her arms. That is hilarious. Yes, we have a little chicken for a parrot or whatever a chicken parrot whatever i don't know what she is something really scaredy cat yeah she's a scaredy cat no arguments on that she's so afraid of cats. yes she is afraid of the of the wild cats that are around the area she could care less about humans but those cats come around she gives them a healthy birth so, as you guys know, who have ever been scratched by a cat, that's a wise idea. So, anyway, I may do some more updates later on. But right now, this is what we are doing. This is our life at this moment. And the fun that the kids are having. So, anyway, I will go ahead and let you guys go. Have a wonderful day. This is the saga of our life. I will be back another day to update you guys a little bit more. But have a great day. I pray blessings upon you guys. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May any curses that the enemy has tried to place upon you be become null and void in Jesus' name. And may the blessings of the Lord overtake his children in the name of Jesus. So blessings be to y'all and have a great night. Bye-bye.